So one of the biggest debates coming out of Star Trek Into Darkness is whether or not the movie should have included more backstory on Khan. And I was one of the people who felt it should. But it looks like I'm finally getting my wish as IDW is putting out an origin miniseries about Khan, and this is the guy writing it, Mike Johnson. Hello. Hello. How'd nice you get to meet the, you. How nice to meet you. I'm, I really like Khan, but I want to know more, more about Khan. Sure. Then uh, definitely keep your eyes open uh, in October for uh, the first issue of five. It's called Star wow. Trek Khan. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to spill all the secrets at that point. Well, here's a question for you. How closely do you work with J.J. Abrams and company? I actually work most closely with Roberto Orsi, oh, who is yes. one of what we call the Star Trek Supreme Court. Oh, so I like it. J.J., you could say, is the chief justice of the Supreme Court. <laughs> And then uh, Roberto, Alex Kurtzman, Damon Lindelof, uh, JJ's producing partner Brian Burke, they really compose the Supreme Court. So I'm sort of a clerk to the Supreme Court. Oh, oh And I'm uh, <laughs> just going to stretch this metaphor out as far as I, I love can. it, I love it. Uh, but uh, I work mostly with, with Bob, Roberto Orsi, who's the. Um, Probably the most hardcore uh, Trekkie on the on the court and knows everything about the uh, the franchise. Well, another thing sometimes people worry about, they say, oh, well, you know what, it's just going to be the same story, you know, because it's, it's just going to be Khan, but in this universe. That's are right. You, are you changing things up a lot? We or? are. We're going to take Ooh. advantage of the fact that we not only have, you know, a great new actor playing the part, but people have some questions about, you know, exactly how is it different from what came before. And one of the big things we're doing is we're actually going to show things that happened in the 20th century, our century. Ooh, and, and uh, you focus on the eugenics war exactly, too, right? Exactly, yes. So we're going to show how those unfolded, and uh, we're going to see them in, in visual, in a visual medium for the first time, which should be really exciting. Well, think, speaking of visual, when you're writing, do you, are you thinking of Benedict Cumberbatch? Is like, is he con to you? Yes, definitely. I, I think both him and, and Montalban, and for the earlier stuff, it's, you know, I've gone back and watched the original episode that Ooh, Montalban was yeah. in, you go back, back and watch Wrath of Khan, and you sort of take cues from how he portrayed the character, and then you look at how Cumberbatch did it in his own way, and both of those, hopefully we're going to touch on both of those portrayals in the comic. Well, you know, a lot of fans are upset that a certain shower scene was cut from the film. <laughs> Will you right. be adding such elements into the miniseries? Yeah, I haven't written many shower <laughs> scenes, but uh, maybe. I know the fans, the fans want it, so we'll see what we can do. No promises, <laughs> but... Maybe I'll write my first And also, shower. this isn't your first rodeo in terms of Star Trek. That's right. Right? You write a lot for them. Yeah. So how is it writing the two different alternate universes? Because that's how they did it. They split it into two. Yeah, it's great. I think in both cases, you really just stick to what the actors do. So, oh, you know, you really try to get the voices of Shatner and Nimoy in one universe, and then you try to get Pine and Quinto. The, the new cast is fantastic. Mm -hmm. So you just try to honor what they've brought to the characters. And I just watch the movie a lot. <laughs> I and just watch the movie and watch the movie. <laughs> what a tough gig. I know. <laughs> Comics well, are hard. <laughs> well, also, you know, is this just something I should read about to, uh, to round out my Star Trek Into Darkness experience? Or do you think there's, like, some small chance that Khan could return? Uh, there's always a chance. Uh, so definitely. I think that's something that we're talking about as we go and how can we set up hopefully a third movie and sort of drop little clues and little hints so that you know when the third movie rolls around we can go back and say look here you know a couple years before we were putting in little hints so, oh nice yeah. you do that extensively with the prequel or the, the, the ongoing, Star Trek yeah. of the Darkness right Didn't yeah you some, exactly you had some hints right exactly yeah and we have our ongoing series that's going to keep coming out every month and hopefully dovetails into the next movie so people can, can uh, keep their eyes open so just because a Star Trek movie isn't playing in theaters doesn't mean people can't be in the world that's exactly right and I think it helps that we have Bob Orsi overseeing it because Bob is, you know, one of the creators of the movies, so comics gives him an opportunity to tell more stories than he has time for in just one feature. So, so my last question for you is: Are you currently writing it? Are you uh, writing it right I'm now? I'm writing con. In fact, yeah, actually, tonight and tomorrow, and the day after yeah. that, I have I have a lot of con to be writing. So okay. It's fun. So, it's can great. you tell me a story, or a little teaser of something that you're particularly happy that you wrote? It's like just some something small uh, to whet our appetite. The scene. When we first meet Khan when he's around eight years old, that one turned out pretty well. Oh, that's great.